Proverbs chapter 9 verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools for they consider not that they do evil. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders' great millstone, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Most Israelite women will die. Most Israelite women are going to die because they are simply out of order. Prime example, I put up a video as a exhortation to brothers as well as an admonishment to brothers dealing with our lots in this truth and how stronger demons come with higher positions. So I put this video up early this morning and this woman came on the comment board. If you can see the comment at the bottom, this is by Sophia Solis and this is what this demon said. This hair hat said, this rebellious woman said, stop excluding the daughters of Zion it's really annoying. It's not all about the Hebrew males. Really? Really? First of all, going back to the scriptures that I brought out early in this video, a foolish woman is clamorous. Meaning she talks a lot. She is simple and know of nothing. And then the scriptures say, keep your foot when you come to the house of the Most High. Now the house of the Most High are the congregation of Israel, the Israelite men. In particular, our platform of us being out on the highways and hedges teaching the word, but also when you click on these videos that we put up, you just entered the house of the Most High. So you need to shut up. You have nothing to say. You have nothing to say at all. Just listen. Let your women keep silence in the churches. You just entered the church. So you're commanded to be silent. And if you will learn anything, ask your husband at home. And if you don't have a husband, pray to Yahweh Shai with your head covered that he sends you a husband that's in the truth. All right? Don't be doing a, uh, a, a hookup hotline, you know, on the uh, comment board. All right? If a man wants to get with you, He'll inbox you privately. But you have nothing to say. If you're going to learn, be silent. Otherwise, just move on. Stop excluding the daughters of Zion. It's really annoying. It's not all about the Hebrew males. Yeah, the hell it is. And see what the thing is. The thing is, is that the so-called black woman and really the Israelite woman in general, but beginning with the Israelite woman from the tribe of Judah. By you knowing that you're an Israelite, don't you know that you have to leave the power that Esau gave you? See, when you come into this truth, you women have no control. First of all, do you know what a woman is? Let's get the definition of woman. This is on the freedictionary.com. Woman. Let's get the main definition. A female servant or subordinate. That's what you are. You are a servant. That's what you come back to. So you leave that power that the serpent gave you, which is a so-called white man. You leave the power 
and the authority that he gave you and you put yourself into submission under an Israelite man, which most of you women can't do. Even you women that know that you are Hebrew Israelites, you still want that control that Esau gave you, but you're not going to get it. Not in this thing of ours. This thing of ours. Because it is about the man. Because the Israelite man is your God. Okay? The Israelite man has authority over you. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head, or you could say the God, the leader of every man, of every Israelite man, is Hamashiach, which is Yahweh So Yahweh he's our head, or he's our God, which, you know, ultimately, the Heavenly Father, his Heavenly Father is our God, but there's an order, okay? And this is why we worship Yahweh We can't get to the Heavenly Father, but through Yahweh Shai. So the head of every man is Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. So the God of the woman is the man. The Lord ain't dealing with you damn women. And you need to know that. And the majority of you women are going to die. Why? Because y'all are still westernized. And the head of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is Yahweh. That's the order that the Heavenly Father set up. That is the divine order. You women are going to get jacked up, okay? And you should just be humble. Just shut up and learn. If you're going to click on my videos, now I'm going to say this. If this does not apply to you, don't say anything. But just be quiet. I'm tired of seeing y'all coming about nothing. You have nothing to say. None of you women have shit to say, man. And if you offend it, then move the fuck on. All right? The Lord is going to kill the majority of our women because two-thirds of Israel will be cut off and die. The majority of the two-thirds are women. There are seven women to one man. There are seven women to one man. Those are the statistics. And you women, you have a huge reproach here in Babylon the Great taking that power that the uh, serpent gave you because that story of Adam and Eve taking on that fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil by the serpent that was not mythology people read that they'll think that there were two people in the garden they were naked and they were talking to a snake and he gave them a piece, a piece of uh, fruit no that's reality what happened and what happened in that garden came in, into a fruition fully here in Babylon the Great by the women's liberation movement. That's when you women really bitter that fruit, which is Esau's philosophy. You know, you being as gods. Basically, you being above the man. This feminist bull crap, the woman being above the man. That's what that is. And this is what you need to be. 1 Timothy 5 and 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house so yeah hey you got women all over youtube just bugging out spazzing out calling themselves teaching other women you don't need to be teaching the scriptures woman the scriptures are, aren't given to you to teach you're not a prophet you're not a prophetess that's wicked and the only way women prophesy by way of dreams they receive a dream and they don't tell their dream to the public they'll tell their dream to their husband all right and, and their husband can break the dream down. That's how women prophesy. Not breaking down scriptures. Not breaking down the book of Daniel. The book of Isaiah. The book of Habakkuk. Etc. Man. Alright. You women. Majority of you women going to die. Alright. If you're going to be teaching anything. You need to be teaching other women. How to cook some damn food. Come up with some recipes. Do different things to, uh, to educate the children. Clean the house. You know, different things, tell women different things on how to please their man. That's how women teach other women. 1 Timothy 5 and 14, I will therefore that the younger women marry. So that's how you're going to be saved, woman. All right? And when Isaiah 4 and 1 come to pass, it ain't a damn thing you can do about it. You're going to get down and lay down. Hey, it's going to be like that famous line in uh, Terminator. I believe it's Terminator 2. Come with me if you want to live. All right.
Because, hey, you women, especially you Israelite women, you don't agree with a man having more than one woman, but it ain't gonna be shit you could do about it. You're gonna have to agree in that day. And that shows that ain't no woman in the truth. Because y'all don't agree with that. And that's a part of the doctrine. It's a, it says you have to believe in the whole book. You got to eat the whole roll. But this truth is not for women. Including women. Get the hell out of here. Alright? Y'all mess everything up. 1 Timothy 5 and 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry. Meaning have sex with Israelite men. Bear children. Guide the house. Take care of the house. Cook clean. Have everything ready for when your husband comes home. All right? Having his food prepared when he comes home. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And that's all you women do. That's all you do. Esau get to talk all type of shit because of how women out of order. And really, hey, you bit of that fruit. You took that philosophy. And all the so-called white man looks at you as, as an exotic piece of ass. He looks at you like jungle booty. That's all you women are to Esau. All right? Hey, man. The Lord got an ass whooping prepared for Israel. Point blank, period. The Lord deals with the Israelite man. That's the order. That's the order that he set up. And I'm glad he set it up that way because nothing but confusion is here in Babylon the Great. Hey, and, and you know what? And our women here in America, hey, you wonder why... JB going down to Brazil or to uh, DR, which those are Israelite women too, but they are a little bit more in order. You wonder why? Because you're running him off. It's crazy, man. Hey, and you're going to be begging the Israelite man to take away your reproach. And that reproach is this feminism. By way of feminism, you're not guiding the house. You're not having children. You're being a demon. And if you have children, you're, uh, you're basically using, using the uh, children as entrapment to entrap the man, putting him on child support. You're all career driven. But hey, the Lord set up an order. You're going to get down with it or you're going to die. Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye my flock, meaning my congregation, my church, the people I called, the flock of my pasture are men. And I am your power, saith the Lord Yahweh. Point blank period. That's it. That is it. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders' great millstone, peace and blessing to the elect. Shalom. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue with faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach verse 3 and it shall come to pass that he that is left in zion and he that remaineth in jerusalem shall be called holy when the lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of zion and shall have purged the blood of jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. So get in order or the Lord is going to take you out. Shalom.